welcome to the second episode of the 15th season of Talent Second. Great to play. Here on the show, we give kids the chance to shine, blossom, and nurture their talents. And this season is no exception. It promises an exquisite display of tact, fitness, innovation, you name it. We scouted for the finest of talents with the help of our able judges. And we present to you 16 very talented kids to battle it out for the topmost spot on the all new Talented Kids Into School Competition. I am Aureliana Amikwate, and I'm doing this with the beautiful Maria Yaira Menta Portela. For the first time on the show, we are highlighting the skills of kids in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, popularly known as STEM, by introducing an all new innovative segment specially dedicated to them. From the electrifying performances showcased by our talents during the unveiling, we can only anticipate amazing jaw-dropping moments from this season. From rappers spitting out lines, dancers splurging our moves, poets dazzling us with words, and a host of other talents. You can only expect nothing but the best. For the next 13 weeks, make a date with us right here on TV3 as we bring you unparalleled entertainment from our young budding talents. Okay, so let's kick start today's show. We are talking independence. Yes, our contestants are drawing inspiration from the past happenings, thereby offering a creative and educational experience for you. Get ready to be mesmerized. Get ready to be thrilled. But before we get into the competition, let's talk to our judges and hear what their expectations are for today. I'll start with you, Chairman Kwame. Thank you very much. So today, I'm expecting a lot of Ghana. I'm expecting style. I'm looking for grace, as Ghana has. And I'm also expecting talent. And I know that I will be blown away. OK. Auntie Paulina, what do you expect? I'm expecting a lot, my darling. A lot, a lot, a lot. I mean, can you imagine these kids are coming in today with something that they want to mesmerize us. They just want us to be happy. Yeah. And today, I'm looking forward for the kids to wow us, to educate us, and most of all, to let their talent shine. Let and that's their what talent I'm, shine. Yes, that's what Indeed. I'm looking forward to. Okay. Uncle Ni, a technical man. Uncle Ni, you see, the way you speak with passion, so much passion, it's, it's amazing, and we're lucky to have you on the show. Oh, Please, you. what do you expect? Um, tonight, I want to see the red. I want to feel the gold. I want to hear the green, and I want to be that black star this is why we call you technical Ghana. man. <laughs> <laughs> Please put your hands together for Uncle Ni. Okay, so for today, we are actually going to be getting some cards, you know. Oh, really? Please, judges, elaborate more on it for us. This is very simple. Kwame, explain to them what your yellow means. So the yellow means it was good, but it, was it wasn't good. the best. Okay. okay. And Uncle Ni, what does your red mean? Well, the red means you did well, but you did not impress us. Okay. okay. And with the green, this is the green. Okay, with a thumbs up. Uh, yes, and the green means fantastic. Fantastic. So I think our contestants know what they are fighting yes, for. Yes, yes. Okay. All fighting for the green. Let's take a quick breather. When we come back, it's the STEM segment. A round of applause, everybody. My name is Adin Adifeka, a student of Solomon Bennett Memorial School in Sunyane, in the Puno region. I am in Basis. 
I have come to use this material from my sciences this point to, to build an improvised thermometer. This is the bulb. It holds the thermometric liquid. This is the capillary tube. And this is my stain. To begin with, put your improvised thermometer into a container and pour hot water. Observe closely. As we can see, the thermometric liquid is rising through the capillary tube because the substance has gained heat. Remove the improvised thermometer and put it into cold water. And observe closely. As we can see, the thermometric liquid is falling through the capillary tube because the substance has lost heat. Temperature is a measure of how hot or cold a body is. A thermometer is an instrument used to measure the temperature of a body. Well, that was super informative and innovative, you know. I hope you learned a thing or two from that video. Now, to set our stage ready for today, we have a very beautiful singer with a melodious voice. Let's check out her profile video. Ni mekename, enanomni ejano, michiamwo. O oh, ye Ghanaian youth, remember our nation, our home, our love, our motherland, the North Star and strength of Africa, the pioneers and champions of African liberation on African soil. Now almost desolate and without vigor, crying for help and salvation. No, our motherland is no damsel in distress waiting for a white night. She raised kings, champions, and leaders. She nurtured fighters and achievers. You and I, se omani beyeya ne efiyanara, just like Efim Amu said. Yanara yasasini, e ya boden de maye. Moja na na nushegu. Messi Moja na na nushegu. protect and care for it. Auntie Paulina, did you enjoy the performance? Yes. Wow. Could you tell me your name again? Aya. No, use the mic. Aya. 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 Yes, Aha. Aya, you're the one who's named after my grandmother. You have amazing, powerful voice. Thank Damn. you. And one thing we were all amazed by is the way your pitch, from how low you were from your diaphragm and you moved all the way to that note that you hit at the end. I must admit, you're amazing. Thank you. Keep on. Well done. Thank you You very are much. amazing. Keep on and well done by Artie Paulina. If you enjoyed this performance, you know what to do. Just dial star 713 star, 13 hash, or download the TV3 reality app to vote for Aya. Please, can we know which card she receives? But before that, please, I would like to enlighten our viewers on these cards. So for the green card, it's a very amazing performance. And for the yellow card, not too good. And for the red too, not so good. So Auntie Paulina, which one is Aya receiving? Big smile from you. Big one. Are you ready? Ta-da! Wow, she's 
she gets a green card, which means she did amazing work. Now, if you like her performance and you want to see her week after week, you know what to do. Dial star 713 star 13 hash or download the TV3 reality app to vote. Moving on to the next contestant, we have a poet to enlighten us more on our culture. <laughs> Allow me, allow me, allow me, allow me to talk about my legend, the lion king of the land of Africa. If Ghana were to be a pro in Dhaka, then Kwame Kumar be the mechanic. We were free, but we refused to be free. But psychologically, I cannot tell the weather. Whether we are outside the balcony or we are still under the white colony. We still bleed down for them effortlessly, for them to dictate on us to teach us what we should learn and teach. From the clothes that we wear to the food that we eat, like throwing banquets, labia in the garbage, and spending five times on the price of the poor pizza package. And when I'm done, I complain that made in Ghana goods are lacking good quality. No, no, it's because I allow myself to be tricked to being in a savage to my own people. So just keep waiting. But if our ancestors were to be awakened, they will ask in your national pledge, is that how you promise to defend the good name of Ghana? They will be sad. So we must say, Akuma. Look at the way we've allowed them to misuse our resources. Or we destroy it by ourselves. Oh, and the name of Galam say. Sometimes it beats my brain, I don't know what to say. Who supervise them? And to Paulina, who supervise them? Who supervise them? Supervise them to make sure that our resources of Duman Kuma give us are in vain. These are issues that we discuss it on TV and radios. Sometimes written with indelible ink. But when it comes to actions, we will learn. Yes. You will learn to send to them who meant to them to understand. Yes, we prove to be slaves to their dollars and saying, Is that how we are? Or is how our education system taught us? So just keep waiting. But if our ancestors were to be awakened, they will ask in your national pledge, Is that how you promise to defend the good name of Ghana? They will be sad. So we will come. Some of the youth are turning into voters. I just who are joining old for synthetic politics. What I mean that when I'm in out, allow me to fight corruption. But when I'm in, I become corrupt and the corrupted. Are we not in rat race? Just look at the cycle. Thank you. Amazing! Too much information right there. Good job. Achame Kwame, I saw you paying rapt attention to his performance. Would you like to share your opinion? Yes. You are a lyricist. I like the play on words. I like the way it rhymes. And I love the whole characterization. You put yourself into the suffering. And I like how by the end of the performance, you had broken free from your chains. Thank you. That was a beautiful performance. That was a beautiful performance. Please, Oshami Kwame, if you think that was a beautiful performance, then which card is he receiving? And that was a yellow card. Okay, if you love his performance, you know what to do. Just dial star 713 star, 13 hash, or alternatively, download the TV3 reality app to vote for him. Moving on, we have another amazing singer. Let's check out her profile video. Free and independent people. Aquaba. Welcome home to contribute and build our motherland Ghana. You beat
that today we get the chance to showcase our beautiful culture as Ghanaians. Let me move to our technical man, Uncle Ni. What did you think about this performance? Annabelle. Aiko. So, Annabelle, looking at your performance, you have all the bits of elements we need to make you a star. My only challenge, and of course, this is what this show is about, is that we need to polish all these elements. We need to work on your stagecraft. We need to work on your presence, how you engage with the audience. Because it looked like you were trying to figure out where to move on stage. It felt calculated. We need to make it all into one beautiful package that when you're on stage, you're moving like clockwork. So you have all the things there. So the train is, let's work on her. Annabelle has that thing in her that can make her a star. Let's work on it. Yes, Talented Kids is going to do exactly that. Please, which card is Annabelle receiving? Is it a green, yellow, or a red? A yellow card. <laughs> to keep Annabelle in the competition, you need to dial star 713 star 13 hash or download the TVT reality app to vote. To continue, we have another singer who will suit your skin with her melodious voice as well. Check out her profile video. Hello, lovely people of Ghana. My name is Trude Ofori, and I represent Equity International School in the Eastern region of Ghana. I would like to say a big thank you to my school. If you want to keep me in this competition, please kindly dial star 713 star 13 hash and select number 13 and vote as many as you want. So the western part of Ghana, Eastern, Central, and the Greater Accra, please vote for me. Thank you. Where do you come from? I'm a fanti. Hey, you call me Ni Ajay, Ajay, Ajay. Ah, Charlie, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm actually speechless. You know why? Your performance was out of this world. Thank you. Your confidence 
How old are you? See, I'm 11 years of age. You're kidding me. You're 11. Yes, please. And your confidence is even higher than these two people here. <laughs> Truth, what school do you go to? Equity International School located at Suho. Oh, wow. <laughs> Truth, as a singer, as a performer, and most of all, as a fan team. Hi. <laughs> I am so proud of you. And we are so, all of us are, for your performance. Thank well you. done. Well it was that nice. Our country for me. is free forever. <laughs> Truth, please, please stay back. Auntie Paulina, please, which card is she receiving? You don't even have to ask that. Do you? Oh, Extra is green. Wow. I know you love this performance, and if you want to see more and more, you know what to do. Dial star 713 star 13 hash or alternatively, download the TV3 reality app to vote. We will take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with more talent. Stay tuned. <laughs> From that quick break, this is still the independence edition of Talented Kids Season 15. You know, I don't want to keep you in too much suspense, so we'll go straight into the performances. Next up, we have a very, very young dancer who will wow you with her moves. <laughs> During a time of war. No, this is not just a war. This is not just a fight. We are brave, but now slaves. We are strong, but now weak. Our children and women need our favor. Where is our future? Ghana, where is our future? Listen up! At long last, the battle has ended. You could never be messy, your friend, when you have to go in. Gonna remember your boy, your lady, your country name, central nature, your gunner, man, and press the morning. Ghana, going to Uncle Nitete, a technical yes. man. Please, Latifa. your comments. Very entertaining. You had, um, you gave us a salad bowl, you know, because you had different, different um, dance genres going through. You had different pacing. You had different um, concepts happening through. It was very entertaining. It was very well paced. I would have wished towards the end, you really would have given us, even if it was a 30 seconds to a minute of you dancing, you know, 
So let's look into that, okay? But all in all, not bad at all. Okay, so my studio audience, let me engage you a bit. What card do you think she's getting? Is it a green, yellow, red? Oh, is it a green, a yellow, or a red? Oh, my studio audience. You didn't mind me. Okay, but it's a yellow. She gets a yellow. Please put your hands together for her. And you know, if you want Latifa to stay in this competition, you have to vote for her by dialing star 713, star 13 hash, and following the prompts or downloading the TV3 reality app. Next to come on stage, we have an animal impersonator. I am God, the animal impersonator. I represent Future Assurance Academy in New Odubiasi, in the Dancy South District of Ashanti region. Today, I'm coming to give you an educative show, so watch out for me. To keep me in the competition, kindly dial star 713, star 13 hash, or download the TV3 reality app on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store, and vote for me, God, the animal impersonator. Thank you. Talented kids, free to play. Since it's Ghana month, everything is about Ghana. Eat Ghana, wear Ghana, dance Ghana, speak Ghana. And even if you care, walk Ghana. Ghana has a lot of national symbols, and one of them is the coat of arms. The coat of arms was designed by one Ghanaian artist called Ni Amunkote and was introduced on the 4th March 1957 with the motto Freedom and Justice. Freedom and Justice. And it's a symbol of the authority of Ghana. It is found in important government institutions and places like castles court and other government offices. It has a golden lion, a cocoa tree, a mine shaft, a cross linguista, a five-pointed black stars, and two eagles. My audience, the two eagles around each of whose neck hung the black star, transplanted from ribbon of Ghana's colors, red, gold, and green. Eagles are vociferous, fearless hunters. An eagle will never surrender to its prey, no matter its strength or size. They used to make their nest on top of a cliff and to always put up a fight to win over its prey or regain its territory. It produces different sounds, so one of them is. <coughs> or, you prefer the other one. <coughs> their position on the coat of arms is to support their shield, which signifies a protector with strength. Very clear and attentive eyes that keep watch over the country. Eagles represent strength, courage, wisdom, power, and freedom. The lion in it represents bravery, smartness, and also represents the link between Ghana and Commonwealth. It was through braveness that our forefathers gained independence from their colonial masters. The lion produces this sound. <coughs> Yes, it took a lot of determination to gain independence from the British. Remember, I'm God, the animal impersonator. Thank you. Put your hands together for God, the animal impersonator. Well, me, me too, I can do some more. I can do some rooster sounds and some, you know, goat sounds, but we'll leave that for another day. Judges, Auntie Paulina. <laughs> Please, can you, can you make, you know, impersonations No, yourself? Maria, I'm not you like can't. you. I can't. <laughs> okay, what alone. do you think about his performance? Uh, did you say his? Yeah, his, his performance. Are you a he? Oh, God, you're so beautiful, he. <laughs> and how old are you, my darling? How old are you? I'm nine years of age. You're nine. We actually did enjoy that, but the only thing is, are you hungry? Are you tired? Please no. You're not. Please next time, try your very best and put energy in what you do, okay? Because it made you look like you were tired. We enjoyed what you did, but we just need you to give a bit of a vim, okay? Well done.
Well done. Well done to God. Judges. Okay, that's a straight yellow card. Put your hands together for him. He's done incredibly well. Next to come on stage are a group of cultural dancers. Let's see their profile. Everybody, judges, I'll go to Ochiame Kwame, nee. rap doctor, nee, did one, you I feel it? Yes, I, I felt it, but I give it to Ni. Nee. <laughs> so, nee. um, I didn't feel it as much as I hoped I would have felt it, all right? Your coordination was a bit off, so it was difficult to get that, um, you know, focusing of energies from the two of you and then giving it to us. I felt, for instance, the beginning when you started with the Lion King track, we could have done away, you know, with that, and then you go straight to the dance. I don't know if the drumming was a bit too fast for you because it felt like you were trying to preempt what the next movement would be and try to catch it. So because of that, that confidence that you guys brought on last week, that coordination was missing for me. All right, so let's work on that, okay? Okay. What card is it going to be? Maybe is it green or, or is it red or a yellow? Okay, so if Bubro and Kosia gets a yellow card, if you want to see them in the competition in the weeks to come, make sure you dial star 713 star 13 hash and download the TV3 reality app in order to vote. Next, we have a small dancer with a lion's presence. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see her profile.
Ghana, your beloved country is free forever. Biscuit, very impressive. Very, very, very impressive. You are a strong dancer. And you know how to capture your audience and keep them throughout. I saw you blending our traditional dance with our contemporary, with our street styles. And you did it very beautifully. There's something there. Just keep working hard at this, OK? Nice. So Uncle Nee, this one, is it a clear red? It's a yellow. Put your hands together for Biscuit. If you want to see Biscuit in this competition, make sure to vote for her by dialing star 713 star 13 hash or downloading the TV3 reality app to vote. Remember, this is still the independence edition of Talented Kids Season 15. See you after the break. DJ Candy, and if you just tune in, this is the Independence episode of Talente Kids Season 15. And guys, like we always say, Talente Kids! Oh, the energy is not energy. Talente Kids! Okay, before we move on, I would like to remind you that our audience are from the Kings and Queens Academy, and that is Don G School, and also Best Brain International, that is Latifa School, and also Royal Priesthood Academy, which is our school. Now, we move on, and for this set of performance, we have two beautiful talents, and they are going to captivate you by their performance. So take a look at their profile video. Hey, good evening, Dr. Kwame Kuvanawada. Ah, uh, the founder of the national football team. Hey, you, the founder of the Coco team. You see the founder of the football team. We see the founder of the Coco team. See, see, I'm in the house, I'm in the house. A sergeant Dr. Kwame Nkuma, who was one of the legends, who led Ghana to independence? Let us celebrate him. Osadefo, Osadefo, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Ghana, we now have freedom. Ghana, land of freedom. Toils of the brave and the sweat of their labors. Toils of the brave, we shall brought freedom.
there for you. Now, let me move straight to my technical man. Uncle Oni, did you enjoy the performance? When you ask me straight, do I enjoy the performance? You make it a black and white thing. I can't see. <laughs> so, um, all in all, there were some highlights. Um, my worry always is your selection of music and how you, uh, you know how you curate them, put them together. Otherwise, what happens is that midway through your performance, when we should be experiencing you really high on stage, there's a dip there. You know, we need to look at those things. Your coordination, it was almost there, but it wasn't as fine and refined as I wish um, it, 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 it will be. But all in all, I think you, you girls did great. Okay? Yeah. You girls did great by Uncle Nee. So with that being said, which card are they receiving? Audience. Okay, it's a yellow. If you want to see Sparklight dancers each and every week, dial star 713 star 13 hash or download the TV3 reality app to vote for them, to keep them in the competition as well. Now, we had a little comic in the beginning of this performance. And to know or get more of that, let's check out this profile video of another amazing contestant. My name is Anna Ahenfu. Here three the more. Every other you. Apron Academy is my school. I am Josephine Jen Fuakusi. I represent Apron Academy. We want to thank our friends and teachers for supporting us. We are going to blow your minds. To keep us in this competition, thou star 713 star 13 ash or download the TV3 reality app and vote for us. Talented kids, free to play. <laughs> My name is Afriya Kai. Auntie, say Afriya Kai. My son, say Afriya Kai. Boy, a guy. Ghana, Ghana, Ghana. Oh, say.
Anita, please, what's your take on this performance? Did you love it? They were very funny, but you know what? Kwame has so much to say, it's unbelievable. Guys, what school do you come from? What school could you go to? Upwind Academy. Okay, thank you. Uncle Kwame, take over. I, I can remember Yagayo's name. And what's yours? Marino. For? Marino. Marino. You guys have done well. Clap for yourselves. You know, it's very difficult to create comedy out of serious issues. And you guys were in character. I mean, what you have done is very promising. I can't wait to see how you are going to turn out to become hilarious instantly and exciting. So, big up your chest. Big up your chest. Thank you. Well done. Thank you and well done. Audience, which card do you think they are receiving? No, I mean... Okay, a yellow. That was good. If you want to see more of this, you know what to do. Just dial star 713 star 13 yash or download the TV3 reality app to vote for them. Moving on, we are going to be receiving some bars on the stage. So check out his profile video. Hello, people of Ghana. My name is Prince Daniel Fori, aka Don G. I'm a boy of 11 years of age. I attend King and Queen International Academy. I'm a rapper. Shout out to Honorable Patrick Yaobuama, Honorable Baba Sarek. Please vote for me to keep me in this competition. To vote for me, kindly dial star 713 star 13 hash or download the TV3 reality app on Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Ghana, your beloved country is free forever. International Academy. How old are you? 
I'm 11 years old. Nice. And did you write all those lyrics? Is it your original song? Yep. Then it's a, then it's a green. Wow. It's if you so wrote it yourself, green. it's a green. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> if you want to see more of this and receive more of the bus, you know what to do. Just dial star 713 star. One, three hours or download a TV3 reality app to vote. Moving forward, we have another amazing poet who carries so much message. Let's check out her profile video. Western to the world, Christia. Hello, guys. I am Snydaiwo Mamiereye Kwafu from Christ Apostolic School Complex, Christia, Western Region. Thanks to my headmaster, Emmanuel Frempong, and Christ Apostolic School Complex for supporting me. Today, I'm going to talk about Osage for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Allow me to tell you about our independence and a wonderful man, a man of courage, passion, and compassion. If you want to see more of this, star 713 star 13 ash or download the TVT reality app on the Google Play Store or Apple App Store and follow the prompt. Talented kids, free to play. performance because I can see from your facial expression that you enjoyed it. I did. Sinai, could you please tell us what school you attend? Christ Apostolic School Complex. Christian okay. <laughs> and how old are you? I am 10 years old. You're 10 years old. You know what we loved about you? Your diction. The way you actually gave the history to the youth was so easy for everyone to understand. You actually taught a lot of young people out there about the history of Kwame Nkrumah and the president 
Mommy Kruma. So I'm going to say, young lady, well done, and God bless you. Well done. God bless you, and well done. Auntie Paulina, please. Which card? Oh, it's a green card. Well done, Sinai. If you want to see Sina in the competition week by week, now star 713 star 13 ash or download the TV3 reality app to vote for him. Before we go on this quick commercial break, I would like to acknowledge our audience. They are from the Kings and Queens Academy and also Best Brain International and the Royal Princehood Academy. We'll be right back after this short break. So let's take it! Welcome back from that quick break. This is still Talented Kids. Talented Kids. For the last time, Talented Kids. Well, next to come on stage, we have a poet, and he goes by the name Della. Let's see his profile video. My name is Della C. Efo Kodjo Gamesu, a proud student of Selis Memorial School Complex. I think Madame Rose Akapari, the managers, and the entire PTA group of Sellis Memorial School Complex for their support and advice. This week, as we tackle on independence, watch out as I glue your eye to the screen with a spectacular performance telling you about the people who fought for Ghana's independence. I appeal to the regional minister for the Bono region, Honorable Justina Osu Banahine, and to the, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost, Apostle Eric Nyameche. Not forgetting my lovely pastor, Pastor Samuel Asare, and the entire PIWC, Sinyane, and people of Volta and the Anglo, Viwe Delasi Gamesu, yeah. So to keep me in the competition, kindly dial star 713 star 13 hash or download the TV3 reality app on the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Talented kids, free to play. <laughs> Yes, I said it. Because I am too troubled. But before I move on, I have a short story for you. Shh. You listen. In the golden embrace of Ghana's dawn, echoes of liberation resound. Chants of freedom. Freedom! Freedom was not given. It was not worn on a golden platter. Men and women had to fight, lay down their lives, blood, sweat, and agony. Time will not permit me to mention all but a few. Nana Prempe, a regal name, against colonial chains he aimed. Ya Santua, a woman and a queen so fierce, she fought with passion, the struggle immersed. Out of nowhere, the big six arose with courage aflame, a champ on Dankwa and more in the name. In March 1957's embrace, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, a beacon of grace. Chance of freedom! Freedom now! Now! Listen. Cho boy! Cho boy! The toils of the brave and the strong indeed brought us our liberation. While they worked their role in this freedom ride, let me ask you. Yes, you. Are your intentions and actions saying freedom now? Are they adding voice to the chance of freedom today? Oh, corruption, lies, greed, selfishness. Look at you. Shame. No, 
they are not part of the chance for freedom. Ghana, let us retreat and rethink. Let us close our eyes and take retrospection. Our independence is not just yesterday. Our independence should echo in our lives, our hearts, our choices, and our lifestyle. May God bless our homeland Ghana and make our nation great and strong. God bless our homeland Ghana indeed. Della had all of us listening with rapt attention, including our judges. Auntie Paulina, you're standing. Is that a good thing? It's a very good thing. Sweetheart, I don't know. What school you go to? What school you go to? Sally's Memorial School. Wow. Yes. Sweetheart, your diction, your perform. I'm in love with you. You're just amazing. Uh, how old are you? I'm 10. You're, what? People, did you hear that? 10. And your confidence. Hey, guys, I want all of you to say something. I just don't want to be the only one. Well done, OK? OK, Rob Doctor. So what I took away from this beautiful poem is that our independence should echo in our hearts and in our lifestyle and not only in the chance of Cho Bui. Man, you are gracious. Uncle This was such a powerful performance. I was lost in how you use the stage and how you use your voice and how you use your body. You told us your truth. And because you believed your truth, your body was able to communicate that to us. And that is what I was looking at. And you totally aced it. My best performance for the evening. Best performance for Uncle Nee's evening. And guess what? It's a green card. Put your hands together for the lot, everyone. Away from poetry, next is the rapper. And he is not the only Kwame rapper in the building. Well, let's see his profile. My name is Kwame Rap Boy. I come from Nungwa. I attend and data poetry school. I'm nine years old. On this independence episode, I will celebrate Ghana with my own song, Watch Out For Me, to keep me in the competition. Dial star seven one three star, one three ash, or download the reality app and vote for me to win Talented Kids the 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Shame Kwame. I think this one you have competition in the building. Yes, 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 yes. Kwame. How old are you? Nine years. Nine. And yeah. what school do you go to? And Winter Preparatory School. I didn't hear you. And Winter Preparatory And Winter Preparatory. Yeah. That was a beautiful performance. I really liked it. I liked how you brought Ghana on the wheel and you dragged it. And it was really exciting that you brought the real Ghana into the, onto the stage. The only thing is that you were shouting. You were sh I know that it's difficult to express an emotional rap without shouting. But sometimes you can use whispering and the lowering of your voice to express the same level of intensity so watch it especially when it got to the chorus you were shouting you understand so next time even if you want to scream you can scream the parts that are really um that's the the, the high point and then after a while you lower so you have something in rap that we call polyphonic variations you understand so next time when you come on stage, don't shout. Why? All right, thank you. Okay, audience, is it green or yellow? Where are you red, Anna? Eddie. Okay, so it's a yellow. Remember, if you want to keep your favorite contestant in this competition, you have to vote by dialing star 713 star 13 hash or downloading the TV3 reality app. Next, we have a singer, and her name also starts with a P. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Patsy. Ghana, we now have freedom. Ghana, land of freedom. Toys of the brave and the sweat of their labor. Toys of the brave, which has brought results. Hello, everyone. My name is Patricia, a doctor, and I'm representing West African Senior High School. Today is a very special day for me because I'm about to deliver a very good message and a spectacular show for you. To vote for me, dial star 713 star 13 hash or download the TV3 reality app on Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Thank you. Meniachi said Ghana and Yan found dear for your colonial master's nursing. So once we need ya and your sorry name, sir. Yeah, 
Auntie, for that electrifying performance. Auntie Paulina, I can see you have a lot to say. I do. Patsy, well done. You did very, very well. And you actually allowed us to know what Ghana stands up for. We appreciate that. Could you tell us what school you come from? Yes, I come from West African Senior High School. Nice, nice, nice. And how old are you? Yes, I'm 12 years old. You're 12 years old. Okay, now, what I would say, Patsy, the only criticism I have is use the stage well, okay? Yes, and please. also, you lack in a little bit of confidence. So we want more of that. We want more of you smiling, being happy, okay? Yes, please. You did very well. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Very well done. Auntie Paulina, what card are you giving here? Okay, it's a yellow card. Put your hands together for Patsy. You know, next to come and grace the stage for us, we have a rapper. And who knows the song Gringo? You know Gringo? Well, make some noise for Star Wingo. I am Apenka Christian, and I represent Community JHS, located in Edukro. And I really appreciate my school for supporting me this far. Our forefathers struggled before getting independence. So on this independence episode, you should expect more electrifying show from me. To keep me in this competition, you can vote by dialing star 713 star 13 hash or download the TV3 reality app to vote for me. Taringo, Taringo, I, I like the way you tell stories. Thank you. You know, rap music has many, many, many dimensions. Usually we just get so focused on the metaphors and the punchlines. We say bars, bars, bars. And, and amidst all those bars, we just spit, you know, useless things. But this is very coordinated. The storytelling ability is very nice. I like when you start slow, times you shout, and then you come back slow, and you come, you know, I, I like the whole performance. Thank you. But what I want to say is that next time when you write a rap song, the easiest way to get the crowd to get involved is to do something that we call call and response. So create something for the crowd to say. So when you say, Ghana, then they say maybe free forever. Ghana, forever. Ghana, free forever. Ghana forever, Ghana free, you know? Free I forever. Come here, I just delivered some punchline <laughs> for us right now. You know, so as we go into this uh, competition, I want to see you get to the end. So please Thank you, sir. think more about what you are going, because your voice is nice and you are a good rapper. Thank you. Thank you. Star Wingo for you. Please, is this a red? Me, I'm thinking it's a red, or is that what? Oh, I can't hear you. Is that what? Yeah. Judges. 
is a yellow. Are you enjoying yourself so far? We are going for a quick break and we'll be right back. Well, welcome back from that break. This has been Talented Kids Season 15. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Yeah! Audience at home, did you enjoy yourselves? Yeah. Who was your favorite for today? Yeah. Hey, the, 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 the names are plenty. Who yeah. was your favorite? Yeah. Ah, do, you know, do you know the name I can hear? I can hear Maria. Yes, ah, I can did I hear Maria? Aurelia. Oh my God, thank you so much. <laughs> and you know, we are not forgetting them in this. We have some very nice prizes for them. Mm -hmm. Those who did well, those who dressed well. I mean, if I was in this competition, I would have taken it. Let's, let's forget yes, Aurelia. Thank you. But <laughs> so let's call our contestants on stage. Put your hands together for them. They've done incredibly well. Mm -hmm. This being the second episode of season 15, I think... The poise they brought on, their A game was really A game. Yes. Do you agree with me? I totally agree with you, Please, Maria. Let, let's let them see them. So who do you think is taking best performer? Oh, you people, I know, I know that I'm too good, but stop mentioning my name. Oh, don't do that. Who is taking it? Okay, okay, that's, a, that's enough, that's enough. Okay, so who do you think is taking... Oh, please Relax, chill for please. me. Please hold on. <laughs> who do you think is taking best costume? <laughs> Aurelia, can you hear someone say? Yes, I, can, I think it's you. You can hear my hey, name. Maria. Wow, please put your hands together for me. I've done, am I not looking nice? You're looking Can't nice. You see my big bunda? Hey. hey, please. Okay, so judges. <laughs> Auntie Paulina, I'll start with you. You're starting with me, huh? Please, do you have anything for them before we get into the prizes? Yes, I do. Kids, you should clap for yourself. You did amazing today. There isn't anyone out there that didn't show how much they love talented kids. You guys came in with your vim, and we're very proud of you. We're waiting for you for next week to see what you're gonna do, okay? We are very, very proud of you. All of you did very well. None of you, I couldn't even criticize. I just said you did very well, okay? So clap yourself once more. Okay. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So, I don't know if you realized that 90% of all your acts on stage came with someone beating another one and then eventually becoming free. So you know that freedom means to be able to work yourself out of your bondage. And my take home for this independent edition of Talented Kids, based on your expression, is that all of you are willing to put in the right amount of work, the right amount of dedication, and the right amount of discipline so that you can be free from the bondage of corruption and oppression. Thank you for that performance. Thank you, Rob Doctor. Uncle Nee. Yes, Maria. So, tonight we've seen very beautiful you know, performances. Our dancers move like um, the coconut trees at Labadi Beach. <laughs> Our poets told us stories and tales of great men and women that liberated Ghana. Mm. And then, of course, you all showed us that beautiful soul inside you on stage. Yeah. So tonight, 
everybody is actually a winner to Everyone us. Everyone okay? is a winner. Yeah. Okay, so, Aurelia. Maria. Please take over. Okay. So, judges, please, can we have the best costume? The, the person who dressed very well today. So, for our best costume, and this is because we looked at how the costume played within the context of their performance. And then we think action girls did amazing. Wow. Action girls, step action forward. Action girls, please come forward for us. Action girls, step forward, please. Yagayo and Moreno. Okay, so they are receiving prizes. Please for, can, can the prizes come on stage? Yes. Yes, so that was for costume and props and how you use it within the performance. Please put your hands together for them. Winners for best costume. Thank you so much. You can step back. Okay, so moving on. Please, can we have the best? No, let me not go to the per rising. best performer yeah. now. Let's go to the rising, rising star. star. So, for our rising star performer, this was a performer that when um, they were on stage, they gave us something not just for today, but we saw something that we can expect to see greatness, if you get what I mean. So, this is some body or um, a group that we know has the potential to give us something great each week. And that is our most promising contestant, our most promising performer. And the person is Adela. Adela, please can you step forward? Please put your hands together for Adela. Indeed, his words really stole my heart. Adela, please can you move to the middle? Beautifully dressed as a proud Ghanaian. Thank you so much, Della. You can step back. Okay, moving on to our best performer. Indeed. Overall. Overall. Judges. So, for best performer, the contestant that lit the stage, that really touched us here. Wow. When we're deliberating, two names came up, and I'm going to call them up here. Yeah. The two. Sure. So they're going to come up first. Um, Aya. 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 In fact, even Della was considered. Della, come forward. Della. And then Truth. Truth. So these three performers gave us something magical this evening. They reached down deep into their souls. They connected with something beautiful. They channeled all that energy and creativity, and they came on stage and gave us the best versions of themselves. So the three of you were truly amazing. But of course, we have to give it to just one person. Yeah. So our best performer for tonight, Truth. Truth! Truth. Well done. Please put your hands together for truth. Please make it louder, 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 you louder. Can do better. She's done incredibly well. See, when she came with, with her face, the way she came standing seriously, then all of a sudden she just broke into, you know, those comical laughter yeah. scenes. We're like, haha, I just came back. That was, that was amazing. Please, you can step back now. Thank you so much. You all are winners, just like the judges said. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Maria, today has been full of so many incredible talents, I must and tell I've you. And I've had so much fun. Have you had fun? Yes. Audience at home, have you had fun? Yes. Yeah, indeed you have. Okay, but before we leave, I would like to remind you all that if you want to see your favorite contestants in the game, you need to dial star 713 star 13 hash or download the TV3 reality app to vote for your favorite. Maria. Yeah, and before we leave, I would like to um, acknowledge the presence of some schools in our midst. That's the Kings and Queens Academy, 
Best Brain International School and Royal Priesthood Academy. Thank you so much for being here. We hope to see you in the coming weeks. Not only these schools, but also our proud sponsors. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, our sponsors. And audience, till we meet again next week, same time, same place. Ghana. It's Your independent. Your country is free forever. Freedom. Happy Independence Day. Freedom. 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 Freedom.